Oh, hella beard, it's your boy Big Beard B, and we back for another edition of Big Beard Business. In today's video, we're discussing Plum Rose from the house of Rirana. Now this house isn't exactly what I would consider to be popular here in the US, but here's what you need to know. Rirana is a, a Malaysian fragrance company and since its inception in 2017, they released nine different fragrances and for the most part, I'm a fan. Now I originally got my nose on this house when they sent me a sample pack, including a full bottle of wood cereal. Now for those of you who watch my other channel with my wife, Lifestyles of the Broken Unknown, you may know that I've talked about that fragrance there for a special challenge video. Now within that video I talked about not particularly enjoying that fragrance. Not that it's not a good fragrance. It's not a fragrance that I enjoy, but it garners me compliments nonetheless. So when they sent me that sample pack, I came across a few different fragrances and I requested for them to send me this one because I enjoyed it. And this one is a beast. Now, for those of you who haven't seen any of their packaging, this is kind of what it looks like. You got a black front, and on the back, doesn't, doesn't really fucking matter. Fuck this box. So now that you saw that, let's talk about this. Now, to me, Plum Rose comes off of this fresh, fruity, floral scent with a bit of spice. You have notes of melon, you also have plum, you obviously have rose, you have amber, you have clove, you have patchouli in this one as well, and it comes together quite nice for a special fragrance blend. To me, Plum Rose is a sweet fragrance, but it also comes off a bit sour, which is likely that combination of the plum and raspberry, or maybe even that melon that's there in this one as well. Now, when you think about sour, I don't want you to think of anything bad like sour milk or any other unpleasant sour combination you could think of. This is more on the lines of something like a warhead, something I enjoy when I talk about it being sour. When I think of plum in fragrances, I obviously think of Tom Ford's Plum Japanese, Paco Rabanne's One Million Lucky, and also Killian Single Malt. Like Plum Rose, they all have that seductive quality to it as well, which makes it good for close encounter situations. To me, Plum Rose remains a bit linear from the opening to the dry down, except I find the opening to be a bit fresher. I think this one is a well-crafted fragrance, and it works in a number of situations, whether if you wanna wear it to the office, or if you're thinking about wearing it out and about, you can pretty much find a place to wear this one, no matter the occasion. One of my main points of criticism for this fragrance here is that I don't get much of the rose here. And if there is any rose, I don't find it to be a true authentic rose. So if that's your main point of wanting to try this fragrance, then I would tell you to hold off. But aside from that, if you're not looking for that rose note to pop out at you, then you can continue with your purchase. I find most of the Rirana fragrances that I've come across to sit closer to the skin, especially in the dry down, which can be a negative for some, but I think it'll be okay for most. Now the presentation, I, I've obviously destroyed the presentation for this one, but one of the things I also enjoy about the presentation here is kind of the the, the uh, rope around the bottle. It kind of reminds me of something that I would find on a Margiela fragrance, but obviously a lot more. As I stated, Rirana is a Malaysian fragrance company, but they are distributed here in the US locally by Door Perfumes. So shout out to them for shooting this bottle over to me. Again, this is a bottle that I requested after smelling this sample set. I was like, you know what, I need that. Now, you probably heard me talk about this fragrance company in the other channel or in a weekly fragrance rotation video as I wore salty citrus to the meet and greet with Carlos down in Miami in the 305. That's what I wore down there. I like this one. I think it's dope. These fragrances run for about a hundred bucks a bottle or so. Don't quote me on that. I think it's like a hundred bucks. Head over to Door Perfumes. I will leave everything linked and listed down below for you to check out. If I had to rate this thing, I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. I think it deserves a solid 7 out of 10. It sits closer to the skin. Doesn't project a ton, but it does smell great in my personal opinion. So there you have it. That's my take on Plum Rose from Rihanna. If you tried any of their fragrances, comment down below and let me know your thoughts and opinions on this one. Did I hit it? You think quite differently for these fragrances. You're like, you know what, B? I don't feel the same. I would love to know. As always, I'm your boy, Big BB. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend that we all back again. You already know what to do. The goddamn bell.